Okay, I'm just going to answer some uh, three quick questions from Mo Football. This is the first one, uh, question 11, and then there's question 33, and then some paper one hints. Okay, so the first one here is question 11, which breaks the octet rule? Now, you always need to draw these out, and you are given the periodic table, so I'm just going to be looking over here. Um, you'll get a copy of the periodic table in your paper one. Uh, and so I'm going to look across here, and so there's one, two, three, four, five for phosphorus, six for sulfur, uh, nitrogen has five, one, two, three, four, five, and boron has three. Okay, so I'm just going to look over there, and that's where I've gotten it from. Now, uh, straight away, uh, I can see that uh, sulfur here is the only one on period uh, sulfur and phosphorus are on period three, and, and these two on period two. Now these three here have such small nuclei, they often break their exceptions to the octet rule in that they have less than eight. And those on period three are starting to get so big they can break the octet rule by having more than eight. So uh, let's just draw it out and see what we have. Uh, so first for phosphorus, sorry, my thing's blocking it. Where are we? Phosphorus, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and so I'll draw uh, one, two, I'm just going to draw lines because the dots are too terrible, three, four, five, and then chlorine is on uh, very close to the other side, uh, and that has, um, I'm going to have to do that in green, I'm afraid, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it'll match up the same, and so that's a nice, that's a nice octet, two, four, six, eight, so it's not that. All right, uh, BF4, normally B3 is, it has three electrons. It normally is uh, an exception to the rule. That only has six, but because you've got the F in there, now the F is a halogen again, so it's got seven. I'm just gonna draw the one with the bonding in there. It's gonna let me draw a line. All right, and so what you have here, I'm not drawing the outside electrons, uh, they should look like this here. Uh, and what you've got is one missing here. Now, it's got a charge on it, so that makes sense that that extra electron comes in here and makes everything full. All right, so that there is also a nice set of eight as well. Now, when you come down to sulfur, um, sulfur has uh, six there. So I'll draw sulfur over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what we have here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we have chlorine, which we have the same again like this with the seven. Uh, and so there's one that's gonna join up here, one that's gonna join up here. Uh, and then you've got these two extra ones. Uh, and so it would only make sense that they would join up here and here. Uh, and so that's gonna give us two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, and so that breaks the octet rule, and it's on period three, uh, which is the rule as well. Uh, and just double check that this doesn't fit as well. We know that's a common uh, polyatomic iron, ammonium, uh, that has five. Uh, and so the hydrogens fit here. One, two, three, uh, and an extra H plus comes in there. So that's eight there as well, so it's not that. All right, so it's definitely C.